Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Motorsport Manager. We are continuing our challenge series. This is going to be the start of our third season. Uh, we've got two seasons in the bag. Tenth place, as expected. We still haven't really invested a whole lot in the cars themselves, but our headquarters is coming along pretty nicely, and we're going to continue doing that, honestly, for the next probably season or two at the very least, just to get that huge foundation uh, of a really, really solid headquarters, and then just really start skyrocketing through the leagues after that. So... Like I said, we're going to do the off-season for season uh, two, like, or I guess the post-season for season two, and then the pre-season for season three, and then we'll get into the first two two races for season three as well. So might be a little bit longer episode, uh, but hopefully we can get through some of this stuff pretty quickly. Um, car condition updates doesn't really matter to us at the moment. We will take the interview, I suppose. Uh, although a lot of these interviews, honestly, does not really affect us too much. Um, once some, some, Somebody did actually mention... A good way to do the interviews might be to make the chairman happy so that we can then ask for money and, and get a little bit more of a money investment, you know, dipping down temporarily. But then if we keep doing the, the interviews and make him happy, then it'll bring him back up again. So that might be something we can look into. Um, we'll just kind of keep it pretty tame here for the moment, though. We did have two pit mistakes. Not too big of a surprise. We did have some tired pit crew, to be fair. Uh, are there any pit crew that we need to renew? Let's see here. I mean, you're a 10 or higher, so... Let's check you. Contract remaining, you know, one race. We're going to renew your contract. Um, you have an 11. We'll go ahead and renew your contract. You have a 13. Yeah, we'll renew your contract. Anybody that's like 10 or higher, for now, I'm going to renew contracts on. And I think that's going to be just fine. You have six races left, so we can ignore you. Although, I need to make sure I remember to renew your contract. Actually, you know what? I'm actually going to renew your contract now because I don't want to forget. Uh, does that... Renew you more. I only get you to 12 races. I don't think it costs us anything, though, uh, to renew these contracts. I think it just keeps the initial... Uh, f the fee just doesn't get renewed, necessarily. Uh, just lets us keep them at their, I guess, current rate. Because, yeah, you're still at 8,000. So. so we'll just renew everybody's contract, get them back on the same um, kind of time frame, and go from there. We may eventually fill out this then. Now that we, I mean, since we can renew contracts, we may try and fill this out completely and get a full, you know, 12 people here that uh, we can just rotate in through pretty pretty readily so that might actually work out in the long run for us um what was we going to do i guess that's it for the pit crew for now i don't know if there's anything else unless we just see somebody who's just amazing here which i mean the 11s are good the 10s are good obviously like i said i mean they're good for us where we're at at the moment but nothing that just jumps out i mean if it was like a 15 which i don't think there would be at this rate or at this uh level um that might be worth going for but i think we're good all right, let's go ahead and continue. Let's get this going. Car repairs about to be finished. Did we finish? I actually don't remember if we finished all the improvements. Uh, performance improvements, that is. Yeah, it looks like we did. Okay, I couldn't remember that we... Oh, yeah, I mean, I can just look on this right here. Yeah, so we did definitely finish all the performance improvements. Uh, if you can't tell by the shirt, this is a new session. Um, different color shirt, obviously. So, I think. I, I might have been wearing a gray shirt the last time I did the session for all. I know, but it is a new session, so. Scouting report finished. Oronzo Vile. Wilts at home. Erratic, but he is a wonder kid. He's our permanent. So he's always going to have two less consistency, and he's always going to be bad um, at home, which for him, home would be Italy? Are you Italian? How do we know what his home is? Uh, I mean, the erratic... Don't get me wrong. We want the consistency to be good. But, I mean, we could deal with that. And he has a wonder kid. So, that's really good. But, that's, Ita that's the Italian flag, right? Like, I'm not... I don't remember. I, I feel like that should be the Italian flag. But maybe it's not. It, it, I wish it would tell us right here. It doesn't say anything about what he is. Uh, but I think that's the Italian flag. And so that would be... Um, how many races do we have that are Italian? Two, actually. So he would actually do poorly in two of the races. But he would do really good in all the others. He might be worth pursuing. Um, maybe not right yet, though. I mean, he's probably going to be way too expensive. I mean, he's actually really good already. I'll have to think about that. I'll, I'll think about this one. We'll, we'll have to think about him and see if we want to come back to him or something. Manager of the season, not us, obviously. Uh, driver of the season, also not us. Makes sense. Uh, prize money. Hey, we made almost 11 million bucks. Not a surprise there. I think that's exactly what we got last season. So, nothing nothing there. 
Uh, so we do have weight stripping available, and we also have the addition of the Yokohama racetrack. So we're going to have 11 races this next season. Um, and then we have some promotions, relegations, nothing that affects us at the moment. About to finish scouting another driver. Sponsor offers. Bunch of sponsor offers. All right, I think we're still going to continue to do the same thing we did last season. Though. We're just going to take the worst car that we can get for right now. We're not quite ready to pull the trigger on improving the car and really advancing up the ranks yet. Um, so I think that's going to be okay. Vitaly Volkov. Crazy. That's terrible as a permanent trait. Fearless appearing in film and cycle. Yeah, I mean, there's no way. You would, you would never have any relationship with your mechanic at all. So, no. Thank you. We will pass on you. Car design unlocked. Uh, let's grab our sponsor. Uh, does it matter? Oh, did the game just crash? Or that's where my thing tabbed out. I mean, I thought it crashed for a second. I was like, oh. Uh, and we're not going to ever get any better sponsors than these, I don't think. So, I mean, we can use a little bit of this money for stuff. Ooh, 1.25 million upfront payment. I like that a lot. Obviously, we're not planning on getting second or above anyway. So, we'll go ahead and grab that one. And then for you, there's a 1 million upfront payment. There's a 400,000 upfront payment. Uh, so this one's worth three points. This one's worth 300,000 per race. Okay, that, that, that's easy. This one's worth uh, less per race because whatever, 400, if it was 450 but divided by nine, it'd be 50,000. So that would even be, so it's less than 200,000 per race. And then this one is worth, ooh, this one's tough. Um, 800 would be what, 125,000 per race? Plus this to 305, 305,000 per race, right? I think I did that math right. Uh, so that does actually put this one ever so slightly better than this one over here. Plus it gives us some up front. So let's go ahead and grab that one. That's going to be okay. If I did that math wrong, well, feel free to correct me in the comments below. Uh, let's see. Why does this thing keep tabbing out on me? Something. Oh, you know what? I bet it is. One second. Let me check something. Yep. That's exactly what it is. I had some, I had a thing set up for, um, yeah, there we go. That's what I'm looking at. My mouse was moving off my screen uh, because uh, there's a uh, there's an app you can get from, I think it's like the Microsoft, I guess they call it a garage or something like that. It's some app from my, from the Microsoft website that's called Mouse Without Borders. And it allows you to, if you install it on two different computers, so I install it on my home computer and my, my laptop, it allows me to use the same mouse and keyboard for both my home computer and my laptop as if it was just one computer. So that was still turned on and it was trying to move over to my laptop. All right, uh, that is resolved. Car design, let's design our next year's car. Got a little bit of money for that because obviously we're not spending a whole lot of money um, at the moment. So we are going to go ahead and, like I said, go with the cheapest. Man, it's such a huge price difference too. Um, fuel supplier, that one, and then this one. Wow, we've got an incredibly cheap car. But uh, I still think this is actually going to be the best for us in the long run. Just keep it up. One more, at least one more season. One more good season, and I think we'll be in a good position. Um, and I, like I said, as soon as we get the foundation laid, oh, you know what we need to do? I need to go, now that I've already spent all my money, uh, thankfully I don't think it went too far into the future, I do want to come over here and make sure we check out our buildings. So any one of these three would cost us about eight million bucks. Any new buildings that would be cheaper? No, we can't, can't even get new buildings until we get these other ones anyway. Uh, I think we'll start with the factory. Factory is a huge boost to us. It's going to let us improve things a lot quicker. So we'll go ahead and upgrade that one. I still love... I don't know why I've never noticed it before. I still love the fact that it in, it actually changes the way it looks on the map and stuff. So there we go. We're working on the factory. Uh, and then after that, we'll probably do... Probably the design center next. That's going to be a little bit more impactful, I think, to us overall. Um, than the uh, staff center. But uh, that's going to be a good one. Cool. Uh, although, once we get the factory done, that actually will open up a bunch of these as well. So, something to think about. All right. Let's go back to our mail and check through this. People signing. Uh, more people signing. I don't really care too much about a lot of these. Scouting report finished. Rita Maibaum. Catwalk model, selfless. I mean, not a terrible driver for us, but just doesn't have enough improvability. And no, we're not spending any money on anything um, increased to our car. So that's that's just going to stay. What? Oh, these are all completed. We actually haven't finished. We haven't got any others queued up at the moment. 
Why do I feel like I didn't see all of these? Okay, you're the erratic wilt at home one, which could actually still be good for us. I mean, it's not the worst bonuses ever. Um, but honestly, the best thing may be just for us to see out... Oh, you're a pay driver too. That's right. I think we've seen you as well. Uh, the best thing may be just for us to see out our current driver's contract, which unfortunately is going to be another 24 months. Um, and then start working, worrying about uh, a second wonder kit after that. Just so we don't have to pay the cost to break contract, if, you know, that would be preferable. We'll see. We'll have to think about it. Uh, jump secure and anything else we need to worry about at the moment? Don't. Th oh yeah. Uh, no, we're good. Okay. My brain is just not. Sorry. <laughs> Scatter brain for the moment. Right, we're just zipping through. It's going so fast. Hey, look, we're in 2018. Two years ago. Uh, that tells you how old this game is, I guess. Oh, I was going to do some more scouting. It's not the end of the world, because I don't think we're going to be going after anybody until their, our current driver's contracts are up. But I probably should do some scouting. Press HQ visit. We can have team marketability go down, or we can have his morale go down, but our team marketability go up. This is worth more money to us, I think. So I think we'll do that. Um, I will go ahead and schedule a few more scouts, just because why not? Let's make sure we've gotten all the people that are scouted that are not currently... Nope, there's a couple, actually. Not currently employed. Yeah, not a lot, but a couple. And then we'll do some of these that are, like, ending soon. We should go through these scouts pretty fast, so I, better sh I probably should queue up a whole bunch of these. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Um, stop it! Keeps just—it's like a—it's like a hair trigger on exactly the square that you need to click on. Oh, there's a lot of people coming up in 2018. I mean, I could probably make lower the age because I'm not going to be getting anybody that's like 34 most likely. Oh, that's 2019. Okay, that's works. We'll go with that for now. And I mean, I could have had a bunch of those done over this summer, but or the not summer. I guess it's the winter break. But it's going to be okay. All right. Scouting report finished. Nevada. That's a pretty good name. Pay driver. Mm -hmm. um, volunteering. Would be a pretty good person. I mean, terrible driver. But otherwise, I mean, the money. Um, probably wouldn't cost us a lot per race, to be fair. Uh, let's go edit our livery. So I think we did... Is this the one we did last? No, we did this one over here. That's right. We did the little digital one. All right. Since this is season number three, well, the second season that we can actually change the livery, let's move over to... I was going to say those buttons do the same thing. Okay. Let's move over to delivery number two here and see if we... Uh, let's just run this one. Why not? A little bit different. We'll just go through them. Uh, let's see if we can win this whole thing before we get to livery number 12. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, do I want to change anything here? I don't think so. I think I'm okay with the colors. Um, although, I mean, honestly, I wouldn't mind going to the more of the black with the white here instead. That would kind of feel a little more aggressive and predatory. You know, we are going to do that. We're going to switch it over to the black and white instead. Um, the black primary, I mean. I think the gray trim is still okay. No, I like this. I think this is fine. Uh, dark sponsor color... Uh, I guess all of mine are going to be white at this point. Nope, this looks good. I like it. It's going to be a little bit more of an aggressive look to our, our livery. I think it's going to be cool. Still keeps that hint of our channel colors, the blue in there. All right. Tire trade-off. Again, we're not going to be paying money, guys. Uh, okay. Tire heating versus tire wear. We would probably rather, rather our tires not wear as much. So I think we'll just go with two. It's too risky. Again, if it was really going to matter this year, I'd probably think about that a little bit more and really figure out what we wanted to do. But it's not really going to make a huge difference for us. Um, did we get scouting report? For, oh, yeah, we got Nevada. There's the tire wear. We got this scouting report. Constantine. Constantine. Dull interviewee and a narcissist. Uh, <laughs> 
How about no? Uh, it's Nina. Radio Shy. Not a terrible driver, but really not worth anything for us at the moment. Rene Cote. Cote? Cote? Fearless racing trucks rival with driver. I mean, again, not a terrible overall driver. Not what we're looking for. Uh, Elias. Home. This was a home race hero as opposed to the other guy who was the opposite. Uh, not actually listed as a wonder kid, but probably got a lot of room to grow. So borderline wonder kid. I mean, it's going to end up being a pretty good driver in the end. Um, April Fawcett. First lap hero, pay driver. Oh, pay driver. Yes, that's always good. Currently unemployed. Got a lot of improve, room to improve as well. Again, not actually a wonder kid, but lots of improvement potential. Plus the pay driver. Could be worth it for us. It's not as much of a pay driver as some of the other ones are. Honestly, it almost depends on how much she wants. Let's approach her. Because if she doesn't want a lot of money. Okay, so she says ways are fairly important. Like, what if we just give you like 111? She's probably going to be mad at us. And we'll just do um, end of 2018. We'll do short. That's fine. She wants a signing on fee. I don't know. We'll give you a little bit of a signing on fee. And then, again, we'll just make this first or above and give you the max. Because if you ever get that, I would gladly give you that much money. I mean, we'll bump this up a little bit. This she might If we can get her for a pretty cheap price, she might be worth breaking contract with Gaston here. I mean, how much does it go up to? I mean, 238 which I don't know if I want to go that high. Let's go to like 140 or something. That still gives us a really good amount of money coming back from her, and it almost makes it worth breaking the contract at that point. All right, let's try that. She may yell at us and be like, ah, it's stupid. You're insulting me, etc. Uh, nothing for us to do with the car at the moment because it's still actually being worked on, so no, uh, nothing we need to worry about that with that. Paul Toliso, pay driver. Oh, he's a pay driver too. He makes a lot of money though, so he's not worth going after. Preseason testing. Drivers are actually pretty equal overall. I mean, they're actually doing all right, surprisingly. How are we doing so good? <laughs> I mean, I know this is just a preseason testing and it probably means literally nothing, but getting second in that is unexpected. So who knows? Maybe it's the black. It's got to be the black coloring. That's what it is. Uh, so weight stripping. We've done weight stripping before. Weight stripping is awesome. It also feels like cheating, if I must be honest, because um, it is so easy to do some, some pretty interesting stuff with, with the weight stripping. Um... Man, no, we can't go anything higher than 10th. We're just going to stay 10th until until I've seen some evidence that we can be better. We'll just keep going with 10th. I know it's a little bit less money, uh, which is unfortunate, but I think we're going to have to do that. Um, are we able to start improving parts yet? I think so, yes. Once the uh, factory gets done, it's going to make this a whole lot easier. All right, reliability. The first race is going to be top speed and acceleration, so... Let's go ahead and start focusing on the engine. Max that out. Um, we'll go ahead and just, I know, trick on some. We actually don't have some ter terrible parts here. We got a couple good parts that we've been developing over to, over time. So, I mean, not the worst to be fair, especially considering what we started with. So we're getting there. Uh, we definitely again, want to focus on reliability, please and thank you. Uh, headquarters. What's going to be done here soon? Forecasting center in four weeks. Factory in nine weeks. So we got a little ways to wait before we get to the factory. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Actually, once we finish the very first race, we'll be able to, uh, we'll be able to, uh, build another, another building, actually. Pay driver, racer, action averse, embezzling. You're embezzling. <laughs> uh, it'd be funny if that actually hit you. Like, that actually caused problems for you. Um, you're actually pretty cheap. Not interested. Okay. I mean, I doubt it actually affects you in a negative way did we not get i thought we had an offer out for somebody did i mess it up oh she's still considering okay never mind oh there it is i was like where is it at uh report on upcoming c negotiations interesting so she's pretty uh, insulted i mean i 
don't want to give you like max money because I want to make some money off of you. I mean, I'll give you a big Scion bonus. Something like that. I mean, she's still probably going to be completely insulted and say nope. But if she does, then we'll just ignore it. Um, let's see here. Anything else we want to do? I don't think so. We're about to travel. Um, we'll check the uh, wear and tear in just a second. You're stable. Well, good for you. I wish we were all stable. I'm a little bit crazy sometimes. Uh, dangerous dueler, DRS export. Making a lot of money. Good for you. You're actually a really good driver. Um, and then we need to come over here to the car, check the improved parts. 61. I mean, we just got to focus on the engine, get that done, because that's going to be the most costly thing for us to fix anyway. So we'll keep it focused on that for now. Um, and then maybe it's going to be bad once we get here anyway. Not much we can do about it. All right, 13th or above. Let's let's rock and roll. Um, I mean, he does currently have, I guess, the best setup. Is that, is that why she's unhappy? Apparently. Um, what we can do is give him the best top speed and give him the best, because he's a slightly better driver, give him the best acceleration and then give her the better of the other two. They're a little bit less important for this first race. Maybe that'll make him look more even out. Come on, let's go. Black Sea. It's kind of like a shark fin or something. Man, what if we start actually like not being last place? I mean, we were, there was a few times we weren't last place last season, to be fair. But uh, like, what if it was consistent? That would be unexpected. I don't know if I could be able to explain that, to be honest, because I mean, we've done a little bit of improvement on our parts, but not a lot. Like one part per season just to kind of get us heading in that direction is not much. Um, we will... Did I say, decide it? Yeah, yeah. She, if she practices, she actually gets a little bit better. That's right. So we have to decide at that. Uh, car setups. We don't care because... Oh! And we can't do weight strippings too early in the season. Uh, I say that. We can weight strip... Can we weight strip the pec? Well, we can't weight strip the spec parts, so never mind. Yeah, yeah, it's too early in the season uh, to do any weight stripping here, really. So we will ignore that. And that's where nurse comes in really handy. In fact, now that we have weight stripping, maybe we go seek out a nurse. Uh, we're still going to continue to simulate the sessions because, again, unless we start winning somehow, like, we're not winning, but, like, not last place... I don't feel like we should really try on the practice sessions. And it looks like we are going to be dead last again, which is completely expected. Completely expected. All right, there we go. I mean, a few few 13th or higher or whatever it is that we have to get to, uh, or 16th or higher, to get a couple hundred thousand bucks, that would be nice. But beyond that, I don't really care where our position is. No, 13th or above. That's what I thought. Yep. 13th or higher, which is actually a bit aggressive. Um, only $200,000. It's it's pretty aggressive overall. Let's take Engine Expert and Race Trim. We need to we need to get us some more nurses, to be honest. Because I think that would really help us out a lot. Um, change the setup. Hey, we had an 85. Good stuff. We are at 30 laps. We can get 7 on this. That would leave 23... Uh, borderline not be able to do that so and this is a pretty aggressive track I think we have to start off on softs to be honest and just settle in it's a really aggressive track and we're not very consistent with our tires uh, in fact we're probably just gonna leave it on the full 12 uh, at the beginning here just let it go all out all right and then you we'll use that setup and same thing probably yep same thing any weather? Not that we can see. Oh, it is pretty cool out. And we'll actually give you one less lap of fuel just because we're going to space you out anyway. Maybe that'll give you a little bit more of a, a teeny tiny speed boost. And again, the weight stripping. Go. Once we get a little bit further into the season, we'll, we'll look into the weight stripping. Because we can usually weight strip parts down, especially with Nurse. We can weight strip them down to like 60%. Uh, without Nurse, 70%, 75%. But it still still gives us some some cushion to weight strip a little bit.
Yep, go 12x. And let's just speed through this. Go, go, go. Alright, we gotta drop down off of the high input, or the super high stuff because obviously our parts are gonna start falling apart pretty quickly here. We'll do a couple laps of this. And then we'll probably just settle into some medium neutrals and just be happy with that. Because we don't want to burn down our parts any faster than we have to. I mean, hey, if we if we don't have to come in for repairs, uh, we will gain uh, gain a little bit of time over some of the other people that do. So that's always an option for a way to bump up in the rankings. But, I mean, we obviously, we obviously have the, the worst cars on the track. So not a huge surprise there, to be honest. Um, I get that you want to pit for fresh tires. We're going to come around and we're going to schedule your pit first. Although you're actually ahead of him. Never mind. Oh, oops, sorry. Continue. Cancel. Uh, we'll, we'll pit you first then. You're in behind her. Uh, we will come in for some softs. And, I mean, we can get a pretty good amount of stuff out of this. We'll, we'll fill it up mostly. Uh, no parts need to be fixed at the moment. We're going to go ahead and go balanced. All is well. Once we cross the line, we'll pit her. And same thing, softs, fill up, should be fine. And then, although we're not gonna be pushing a whole lot. And then we'll go fast with you because you actually have the extra bonus. Honestly, just settle in. Cause again, I don't really wanna have to, I mean, maybe the in increase we would have on, um, you know, pushing harder and then repairing parts. Maybe it balances out, but I would imagine that the least amount of repairs that we have to do, the better. So we'll just settle in here. We're not really burning through a lot of fuel, so we might be able to save some fuel on the last one. Although, also saving not having to fill it up. Since we don't have simultaneous pits, uh, if we can just replace tires and not have to fill up as much fuel, that, that does save us a little bit of time as well. We're just going to take it easy. A couple people um, having part issues, and we're still, it looks like we're still going to have to repair a few things, unfortunately. Those gears are just having a rough time. Tires are pretty cold. I really should be pushing just a little bit to get a little bit of temperature in the tires. It's not super ideal, but it's, we got to do something. All right. Um, do I go ahead and pitch you now? Oh, you already passed the pit rope, so... We'll go ahead and schedule your pit, but it's not going to matter too much. Uh, and then, yeah. I mean, we're not really pushing very hard, so we'll just go with the minimum amount of fuel. You might be able to ignore anything here. So we'll we'll just not fix anything for the moment with you. But I think we're going to have to fix stuff with her. We're getting there. Don't worry about it. And we're probably going to have to repair your gearbox, unfortunately. One more lap, my dear. And then you'll be coming in. Pitch you, same thing, softs, fuel options, fill it up. You're only gonna have 10 laps left, we're not pushing, so we'll just do that. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to repair that, unfortunately, and we can go fast. I mean, we're pushing a little bit just to get some temperature in the tires, but I'll drop you down to neutral until it starts getting a little cold. I'm trying to preserve your, your parts as much as we possibly can. Do we get blue flags? Is that why we have excess fuel? Uh, we're going to have to... I think we're going to have to ignore. I mean, if you break down, you break down and you're still in last place. So it literally makes no difference whatsoever. Uh, yeah, we're blue flagged. So we do have extra fuel, unfortunately. Hey, somebody did retire before we did. So we're not going to be dead last. Low and easy. I mean, if we don't uh, completely break down here in a minute, we might, we might be able to. If we can make it through the entire race, you know, we might be, you know, what, 16th, 17th, something like that. Nope, we're ignoring you. I'm sorry. We've already fixed one thing. It's good enough for now. It'd be awesome if we could flip above the 13th, but I don't think that's going to happen. Nope, he retired. All right, that's fair. I mean, it was a matter of time. Not a big deal. And it literally, again, makes very little difference on their placement. I mean, he was probably going to drop back anyway. If we had repaired, 
he definitely would have dropped back. So it literally makes no difference in the grand scheme of things. Final lap. Can you make it one more lap, my dear? And stay, I don't know, 16th, something like that? Just a couple points. Not any money, though. Nope, looks like she's dropping down to 17th. That's all right. We did a little bit better just because we didn't retire first. Let's look at it that way, I guess. And actually, only one of our cars got retired at all. It's not, not too bad in the grand scheme of things. We do have enough money to work on another building now. So we'll have to look at that. Could wait till like the factory or something else gets done, but the sooner we get started on them, the sooner they're they're done, you know? And we're definitely going to want the design center to go up anyway, so that is probably the next one we're going to be working on. Unless we want to hold on to somebody for, for swapping out that driver. Uh, that's something to think about. We'll see what she says, and then we'll do the building, I guess, because we may want to swap drivers around and things of that nature. Uh, we might be able to do both, actually, I just realized, uh, based on the money that we're seeing. We'll see. When is she actually going to talk to us again? Uh, you know what? Uh, just to keep things even. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, okay. Just to keep things even, we're actually going to go ahead and put a cut in this episode here. Uh, since there's an odd number of, of races, uh, we're going to... And this, this one was a little bit longer because of the, the postseason, preseason, whatever you want to call it. I guess it's both. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in here. And then we'll just pair up each episode's, uh, each set of races after that. So I do appreciate you guys watching, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.